Right now, we have a vaccine to fight COVID-19. We're making progress. Life is getting back to normal. But if a big chunk of the community says no thanks to getting the shot, there is more chance for this virus to mutate. The vaccine that we are developed may not work for it. Meaning even people who got the vaccine could be at risk and we'd be stuck wearing masks and social distancing longer. The virus will linger longer. There's no doubt about it. So who's holding out on getting a vaccine and what can you do to help? Let's dig into it. Guys, this is really important that we get everyone vaccinated and June 1st is Governor Roy Cooper's deadline for getting two thirds of people vaccinated, but we're not getting there as fast as state leaders would like. Yes, as of Tuesday, our state dashboard shows that 49% of eligible adults in the state have received at least one dose of a vaccine. If we look at a national scale, at least 142 million people have gotten at least a single dose of a COVID-19 vaccine. According to the CDC, 54.5% of eligible adults have been vaccinated across the nation. But that's 46% of people who still have not. Pretty much all the experts agree there's one big group holding out here predominantly in younger adults. Especially if you're younger. I'm talking about the younger people. 30, 40, and 50 year olds. Yeah, health leaders say they are worried about how few younger adults are getting the vaccine. And this is really a big concern as variants of the virus continue to spread. So health experts say it's important for you and me to have conversations with our younger family and friends about all the reasons they might not get vaccinated. But before you have that conversation, it's important to know where those younger people are coming from. For the next 10 minutes, we're going to dig into all of the most common reasons younger people are declining the vaccine, starting with the argument that they're healthy and they don't need protection. This myth is actually so widespread. It is not just young people repeating it. In fact, health experts are blasting America's top podcaster for suggesting young people don't need the vaccine. Take a listen to this recent clip from Joe Rogan. If you're if you're a healthy person and you're exercising all the time and you're young and you're eating well, and like I don't think you need to worry about this. Now, Rogan has since apologized after Dr. Anthony Fauci blasted those statements as incorrect, saying otherwise healthy young people are at risk of getting sick from coronavirus. Just as these two right here. You see, Kareem is a TikTok star who spent seven days in the hospital fighting COVID. He actually posted on his TikTok, please, this isn't an easy virus to deal with. Wear your mask. And then you got 16 year old Liliana, who was hospitalized for 11 long days. Yeah, I'm sorry, but it was just a scary experience for me. It was stressful on my mom too, just to see me hooked up to all these IVs and everything. And it's something not to joke about. And it is a very real disease and teenagers can get it. Hard to hear. Reason number two concerns with fertility. The CDC says you should talk with your doctor if you are actively trying to have kids. But the CDC says there is no evidence that any vaccine, including the COVID-19 vaccine, could cause fertility problems. I want to repeat that because it's important. The CDC says there is no evidence that any vaccine could cause fertility problems. That's any vaccine you can think of that is currently FDA approved or the COVID-19 vaccines with emergency use authorization. However, pregnant women are more likely to get severely sick with COVID-19 compared to non-pregnant women. Cone Health's Dr. Zoe Stallings explains there is even more data showing the vaccine is safe for pregnant women or women who are trying to get pregnant. In fact, in many of the early trials, patients or you know subjects who were in the trials got pregnant during the trial. So we actually have data on pregnant women and we see that their babies were fine. They did not have any issues with infertility. Clinical trials are happening right now to see how well the vaccine works in pregnant women. Reason number three, lots of younger people are holding out. That is because of side effects. You see, there's a concern that younger people experience stronger side effects than older people. All over social media, lots of posts about not wanting to get sick and have to miss work. Here's the real story. It is true younger people could feel stronger side effects for a short period of time. But we're going to verify why that's actually a good thing. 
The Verify team is here to separate fact from fiction when it comes to things like the COVID vaccine. I just wanted to do my part. Anna Hovey is a 23-year-old medical receptionist from Maryland. She jumped at the chance to get the vaccine, although she tells us she definitely felt the side effects after that second dose. And I just felt not great, you know, just wiped out. It just kind of felt like either like a bad cold or mild flu. On social media, you'll find tweets from other young, healthy adults who report flu-like symptoms after the second shot. So let's verify, is it normal for younger people to experience stronger vaccine side effects? Our sources are two doctors, Dr. Linda Nabha from the University of Pittsburgh Medical Center and Dr. Latasha Perkins from the Georgetown University School of Medicine. We also looked at resources from the FDA and the CDC. The short answer here, according to our experts, is yes. The reason you're seeing those side effects is because you have a robust uh, immune system. When we're younger, we tend to mount a bigger and stronger immune reaction, if you will. And that's not a bad thing. That's actually a good thing. Take this breakdown of the Pfizer vaccine posted on the CDC website. It shows that people 55 and under had fever up to the second dose about 16% of the time compared to just 11% for those older than 55 when compared to placebo. That is not something to be concerned about is something to be happy about because it means your immune system works. And our experts emphasize that you should get that vaccine. The side effects are typically mild or moderate and they go away after a day or two. So you're doing yourself and you're doing others a huge favor. So we can verify that yes, younger people do tend to get stronger reactions to the COVID-19 vaccine, but our experts say this is absolutely not a reason to avoid it. It's not fun but it's definitely worth it to help, you know, get the country that much closer to some, some immunity. Now even celebrities are supporting getting the vaccine. Big names like Joe Jonas, Ryan Reynolds, Blake Lively, Tyler Perry, and our very own Vice President Kamala Harris all rolled up their sleeves to get the shot. And so did other celebrities like Bubba Wallace. They took the time to share their experiences on social media so people their ages would feel more comfortable with getting the vaccine. You might want to tell your friends or loved ones to check out their favorite celebrity pages. They may be surprised what they find. That celebrity influence never stops. And the support does not stop there. Davie County Schools is helping its students get vaccinated. The district held a student vaccine clinic this week. Now students 16 or older who wanted to get the shot were able to do that at David County High School. The superintendent says it is just one way the district is showing they're committed to protecting students and staff. The kids are kids, but they said, thank you for letting us do this, but I'm nervous. I'm nervous that the HHS plus the state, once we knew Pfizer could potentially be available to kids, we started talking about this some time ago, saying if, if it is made available to 16 year olds, we want to move forward with this, if, if at all possible. So the big takeaway from all this today is that you want to tell people you love why it's safe for them to get this vaccine, no matter how old they are, and you want to share your personal experiences about how it was a positive for you. And if you are interested in getting protection from the coronavirus with the vaccine, try out health departments are starting to roll out ideas to get more people to roll up their sleeves. We wanted to figure out a way we can get to uh, people who cannot get to us. You're going to hear more, more from Guilford County Commissioner Skip Olson and other try and health departments coming up on WFMY News 2 at 6. And remember, if you haven't gotten the shot yet and you have some questions, reach out to someone you love, someone you know and trust. They'd be happy to share information with you. Also, we have tons of facts verified on our website, WFMYNews2.com.